everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, and I am here again with Stephanie Grabo, my local stylist. Hello. If you guys missed the first video, we will link it down in the description box, box where we talked about some style rules and then how and when to break them. Yes. But today we're going to be talking about color analysis. Yes, my favorite thing. Absolutely, yes. And you guys know how I feel about color analysis. I'm a huge proponent of it. Um, so we're going to show you what an in-person color analysis looks like. For some of you, that's going to be an option. You're going to be able to find local. If you are local to the Indianapolis area, Stephanie does them in person. Um, some of you might have to go virtual. Um, I do have the Color Guru um, code, Tomcat Color, to get 10% off that. Um, but yeah, we're going to show you the, why it's important. Um, obviously, I love sewing from a color palette because it just makes life easier, but also just buying clothes and dressing from a color palette makes a cohesive closet. Um, whatever that color palette might be. So that is what we're doing today, mm -hmm. and Stephanie's gonna kind of narrate as we go along on what's happening and um, why things work and why they don't work. So without further ado, here we go. Let's get into the chair. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we do before we start is we inventory your face and we go top to bottom. And the reason we do that is because I mm -hmm. wanna understand what your face looks like at baseline mm -hmm. so that when we put colors on you, we understand what changes, right? Yeah. So we start at the top. You definitely have some redness across the top. A little sun. Little freck. Oh, your sun. Oh, I'm a little sun. Oh, okay. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just know a sunburn or a tan does not affect color analysis okay. because what we're looking for is your undertones and a sunburn, uh, your uh, hair color, those are overtones. So we really are looking at your undertones in this. So it may be that we put reds on you and you react a little bit more. And we just kind of know to that's the sunburn reacting. Side. Right. So as we come down, there's a little freckling, uh, more mm -hmm. so on this side, which mm -hmm. is probably from uh, so, driving. Prob oh, yeah. 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 I find that women, it's so funny. Yeah. Uh, if you're a passenger a lot, your right mm -hmm. side is. Yes. And you're, yeah. So that's how it works. <clears throat> so as we come down here, around your lip um, is a bit more yellow. Underneath your bottom lip is mm -hmm. a bit more gray. Your chin has some redness to it. Across your top lip there, um, there's a bit of gray. And honestly, that's hair follicles. Totally normal. Everybody has them. Yeah. <laughs> so as we come across, your cheeks are more red, the apples of your cheeks. And there's even a little bit of um, it's almost speckled in mm -hmm. that that's the mm -hmm. sun damage, probably, probably not the sunburn, but probably some Just sun, sun damage. damage yes. Yeah. Between your eyes is there's actually very little color and that comes from wearing glasses or sunglasses. Mm -hmm. So the sun is blocked there. So you'll be, you have more sun on your, on the bridge of your nose and more sun on your forehead. Yes. Your under eye circles, you're definitely a mother because you're <laughs> <laughs> under eye circles. <laughs> <laughs> Although they're not terrible, yeah. I will say that. They are, um, I see purple and brown and a little green and a little yellow in there. And tell me what color you consider your eyes. Um, see, that's hard. Sometimes they're gray, mm -hmm. sometimes they go blue, and then sometimes they even go a little green. Okay. What does your driver's license say? Uh, I think it says blue. Okay. My driver's license okay. says blue. Would you close your eyes for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can open them up. So your eyelids are a little brown and purple, and then underneath your eyebrows are a little yellowish. Is that your natural eyebrow color? Yes, this is natural okay, eyebrow so color. so brownish black, kind of, with a little bit of reddish in there, a little. Yeah. And then when I look at your lips, your top lip is more pale than your bottom lip is, which is very normal. Um, most people's lips are two different colors, but they just don't realize it because they never stare at themselves that yeah. way. And you have a really nice line around your lips that's very defined, mm -hmm. um, and that is a bit reddish purple. So that's really nice, too. Anything I've missed, anything, scars, freckles, anything I didn't see that you no. want to point out to me? No, that's... Okay. That's my face. All right, All right, as we go. Okay, two bits of advice as we start the process. Mm -hmm. Number one is when we start draping you, it's easiest if you stare at the point between your eyebrows okay. and then with your peripheral vision, notice what changes because oh. if you start looking all over your face, it's really easy to get lost in what's happening and you, you can't figure it out. But if you start here and as your face changes, it can look sometimes like a shadow crossing your face or you realize that the color changes. But if you're staring at your whole face, you'll miss it, right? Okay. And then the second thing is we're actually going to be choosing the color that changes you least. So we're going to compare always two colors. And of those two, we're going to choose the one that changes you the least. And the reason being is we want you to be the beautiful you that God created. 
we are not trying to make you somebody else. And so color analysis should help you be more of who you are yeah. and not turn you into somebody else. So that is, most people think they want to choose the one that makes them look best, but actually it's the one that changes, changes you the least. Make sense? Okay. Other questions? Interesting. No. All right, let's get that started. That was a fantastic tip. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Write that one down. <laughs> yeah. And so these are all just breadcrumbs along the trail giving us hints as to who you are. And then once we get through the first half, then we go back and um, we'll dig in a little bit more in some palettes. Okay. So starting off, we're comparing black and gray. So these are both on the cooler side. One is more intense and one is softer. So we go here, steer between your eyes, mm -hmm. see what happens. And then there you really are. So we come back. This one changes you a little. What I notice is that the difference between the color in your skin changes. So you're if you notice, normally the different coloring areas in your skin, the transition is gradual. Mm -hmm. And we put this on, it becomes a bit more intense. If you look especially between your uh, the apple of your uh, cheek and your under eye circle, it's more, it's more um, distinct. Yeah. And then, but when we put this on, your color kind of all goes darker, right? Yeah. So which of the two do we think is changing you less? Is the darker one changing you? Less. This one is definitely, it's almost like a shadow comes over your face. Uh -huh, Everything uh -huh, goes darker. Uh -huh. But then this one, this one doesn't change you as much. It does mm -hmm. wash you out a bit. Yeah. So I think of the two, the gray is the better. Okay. <clears throat> does that make sense? Yes. And I know you wear gold lame all the time. So <laughs> this is going to be very <laughs> familiar to you. So. Yes. Right. And the red in your skin right now might react a little bit to these warmer cups. So mm -hmm. right away, you went pinky orange. Do you see your whole, even yeah. your under eye circles are yeah. a little pinky orange. So there's that. We pull this away. And then the difference between your skin is you're still lighting up red. And then when mm -hmm. we compare to who you really are, mm -hmm. of the two, the gold changes you the least. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to compare black and brown. So these are both, one is warm, one is cool, but they're both more saturated. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we really want to take so there's that <clears throat> so when I put this on you the first thing I see is your cheeks purple comes out in your cheeks mm -hmm. which when I take it away there's a little there but not as much so right it's definitely it's very distinctive to me that purple jumps out of your cheeks there. yeah <clears throat> it's like a rainbow across your face yeah <clears throat> so this of the two is changing you least mm -hmm. so there's the brown <clears throat> you know, when I did my training, I, uh, for my in-person training, I had to fly to California, and I swear the whole first day of handling the drapes, all I did was, like, learn how to handle them, because they were, like, slippery and going all over. And you have to do your fingers a certain way, and I was like, I'm a really smart per person who's, right. like, studied advanced degree, and I can't figure out how to handle fabric. <laughs> like, it's crazy. How did you do that? <laughs> okay, so here's this. So again, I see the purple jumping out of mm -hmm, your cheeks, mm -hmm. which is there to a degree, but not so much. So the two, I think the gold is changing. Yeah. See, I told you gold lame was good for you. Yes. What I always say to clients is um, you get your color is really in your genes. Mm -hmm. It's your it's created by your um, uh, keratin, your hemoglobin mm -hmm. and your melanin. Right. Okay. Those are the three things. Mm -hmm. And those are things that you inherit. Mm -hmm from your parents and your grandparents. So you may have a dark Sicilian grandmother mm -hmm. and a light Irish grandmother, mm -hmm. and you're a combination of both of those. So one of those is gonna have more cool, one's gonna be, could be more warm. And so you're a combination of warm and cool, most people are. Yeah. And so what this process does is it helps us kind of suss out, are you more warm, are you more cool? Yeah. Recognizing that you're probably some combination of both. Yeah. Which is why I like this, uh, which is what you had done before, as opposed to a straight four season analysis. Right. Right, yeah. which is very binary. Most yeah. people are not one thing or the other. The majority yeah. of people are somewhere in between. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I've been doing this about Look a year. Your eyes pop. I know. Oh, yeah. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Maybe call it mango or marigold or something. I love macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I do too. It's so descriptive. Do you see? Yes, I really. This. Yes, I really see it. Not only that, but it makes your skin look dull. Yeah. It looks a little dehydrated, yeah. which is so interesting to yeah. me. So, and that's really not where I thought you would be. Uh -huh. so. And the funny thing is, it's been so obvious, right? Right. Okay, so here's this one. Oh, your eyes go kind of like gray, like super clear. Yes, so yes. That one. 
this one goes. Yeah. 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 I don't think it's as profound as the others were, but no, it's quite but obvious. I can still see yes. it. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Yes. They do love that color. I do. Well, I mean, the, the I like green, juice. period. Yeah. All right. Blue. Yeah. Uh, it gets, it's really hard for clients sometimes to separate loving a color right. from loving a color on them. Yes. And I always say, like, you can love a color, but if it doesn't love you back, then you should yeah. make a throw pillow out of it and uh, then sure. you can look at it. Or right? wear it as a pair of pants. Exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Just don't put it up on your, close to your face. This. Ooh, your eyes go a little green in that. Yeah. They change. Yep. And then you go kind of brown again. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, it's like dusty almost, mm -hmm. or dusky. Mm -hmm. So the other one is definitely sitting back. I think on. so. Yeah. I would agree. Here's this. Mm -mm. Right. Yep. Yeah. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. She got it. Yes. Right. And you went purple. Yeah. It? Even your lips are purple. Yes. Yeah. So the first one. First is one. Yeah. The winner. The winner. Good thing. Stephanie, are there any color myths about yellow? The color yellow. Um, lots of people feel like they can't wear yellow. Yes. I mean, I hear that a lot. People yes. are like, oh, I never wear yellow. Yeah. And I think the thing that it's really important to remember with colors is we think of colors as in singularity, but really there are shades of colors. Yeah. So I think those people who say they can't wear yellow just haven't found the right shade of yellow yeah. for themselves. Yeah. But I do hear that a lot from people. Of any color, that's the one that most people seem to struggle with. Yeah. The blues. See something happening there. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for y'all to tell me if you see anything happening. I think this one is sitting better. I right think now. it is too. Yeah. So what I see with this one, if uh -huh. you look at the differences between the lighter parts of your skin uh -huh. and the darker parts of your skin, they become more pronounced in mm -hmm. this, which really says to me, this is where your sunburn is actually helpful because what this is doing, like ding ding good good. Ding. Uh, what this is doing is actually pulling all of the color out of your skin in yeah. a way, and it's sort of just leaving the sunburn. Yeah. So when we look at you, you have much more. I mean, you have freckles, you have all kinds of stuff going right. on. And they sort of, for the most part, disappear with this and just leave the sunburn. Mm -hmm. Where this one... And I do, I love this color. Sort this of like preserves ocean color. everything, yeah. 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 It's really beautiful. It also makes your eyes look really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say yeah. this one is sitting better. Our light summer, surprisingly. Interesting. Interesting. Was that the warmer one that you were showing me yes. before? Yes. It okay. Was the warmer. Of and when I was looking at that, I was like, oh my gosh, these look a lot like the colors that are on my yeah. copper spring one, which, yeah. I mean, it's all yeah. different things and yeah. Okay, so here are the colors that have been um, typed for me by Stephanie, which actually puts me at a, for Stephanie's classifications as a light summer which is the warmest of the summers. And I'm going to compare them to my um, uh, Copper Spring colors and show the differences and the similarities on where those fall, uh, which is all very, very interesting. So here's where I fell. <laughs> and um, yeah, we could definitely, I mean, you'll see in the footage um, how Ginny in the background even being able to tell the differences um, doing a color analysis in person. So there we have it. Um, I'll flash back to me in um, the room and we will talk a little bit about uh, similarities and differences. Okay, so I just got back from Stephanie's and I want to talk a little bit about um, my Copper Spring and I grabbed the smaller card. I do have the big um, printout of my colors that uh, Jenny created for me, but the colors are just a little bit uh, more muted on the big one because just we took a small file and blew it up big for the um, big sample piece and I really want to hone in on the colors and how similar these are to this one. Um, Cause I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, okay, well you had your colors done virtually and you're a copper spring, but now she's saying light summer. So when we think about the color wheel, 
Uh, number one, different companies are going to classify. It, it's just a name, you know, like it really is just a name. My, even though this is light summer, which would make you think cool, nothing in my, my coloring is cool. <laughs> it's actually, um, she had two classifications for, um, typing my skin and I typed as warm in one and neutral in the other. So um, that is kind of the basis of that. But just remember that these are all names and different companies use different classifications. And the whole point of getting your colors done and getting a good um, color palette is being able to have a cohesive um, line through your closet so that you know, all your colors go together a little bit uh, better. So I'm going to just show you the similarities. This is actually really crazy. Um, so when we look at, so this is the light summer um, that she is lending me. Um, so when we look at the light summer, like my yellows, that is absolutely the same. <laughs> and then when we get into the um, reds and like warm pinks and stuff here with the copper spring. They are, oh, hold on, I'm trying to show you this as easy as possible here. They are literally the same colors. <laughs> I mean, there's, they're, they're the same. You will see those darker ones that kind of match with the darker. Um, really the only difference that I could tell, so the, is the greens. The greens come across warmer here and they come, I mean, very clear. I'm definitely clear. That was absolutely, you know, no, you know, no different. Um, the greens here are just a little bit, um, have a little bit more blue in them. But when you get to the blues, the blues have a lot of green in them. Um, and those absolutely go right in line. Um, let me get the blues here. The blues all match. Even this like dark blue is my dark blue. And then going into the purples, that all matches the purples that are on my card as well as you can see. So it's, there are very few um, differences on this. Again, the greens I think are probably the biggest difference. And even the neutrals on here um, are warmer. It's a warmer like neutrally gray. Um, and then there's like some like browns and stuff that are on here. Um, so there's a little difference in that in the neutrals um, and then the greens. But everything else, it really is spot on. Um, and Stephanie had mentioned, she's like, I kind of thought you would be a spring. Um, she said light summer is actually a super rare one to be. But we could definitely tell as we were going through, you know, I just kind of write a line there. And when you look at the color wheel, spring goes into summer. So I am right there on the cusp. Um, the same with this with Color Guru, um, where the copper spring falls. Um, it's the warmer, but I mean, clear colors is where I definitely shined. Um, even looking at some of the cooler clear colors, I mean, we could definitely tell a difference that I wasn't cool. Um, it was the warmer clear colors, but clear was definitely a dominant as opposed to um, some of the softer, more muted colors. Even getting into like um, kind of the rusty oranges. Um, they just made me, not that anything looks awful, but it just made me look a little darker and my complexion a little bit more muddy, um, which I find very, very interesting. So um, anyway, long story short, I really think that these, even though they're called two different things, they are really very similar. <laughs> very, very similar. Um, so yeah, so if color analysis is something, I find it fascinating. I just find it really interesting. But apart from that, apart being classified in my, you know, best colors, um, I also, um, oh, we also talked about, um, sorry, jumping around a few things. You know, when I wear that really, really bright orange, it's not bad, but she was saying, as you can see, when you look at your face, um, you see the shirt first before you see your features on your face. So it's just a little bit strong of a color um, for you, which I... I could see when she was like pointing that out. I mean, does that mean I'm never going to wear bright orange again? Absolutely not. Um, but it was very interesting just to kind of see from a different like viewpoint, like how things go. So all in all, I think my closet is fine. Um, there may be a couple of things that I'm like, well, you know, maybe I'll think about having, you know, wearing that as close or maybe even it was more. That's why I never felt like that piece sung to me versus other ones that I'm like, oh, I love that. That piece sung to me. Um, you know, I can definitely uh, tell a difference there because, uh, you know, the the warm um, 
red and stuff is definitely on here. And that is one of the ones that, um, you know, my signature color, definitely one of the ones that was on here. So, um, yeah, that is, that is what having it in person done. So I've had this done twice virtually. Um, and then and again, you don't need to have your colors done multiple times. Once is plenty. Um, but just having that guidepost on, okay, now my closet can start to look really good together. All the pieces can go, you know, one thing that she, that Stephanie was pointing out is, you know, if you're wearing this color, for instance, which is totally, you know, here on the color chart, she said, you may look and want to decide if that, you know, if I want to wear that with that color blue or, um, you know, the purple or whatever. And you can see how harmonious the colors are because um, they're on the same like color family. Um, she also mentioned that for this type of color palette, it's a little different with the card. But if you have like the almost the paint swatches for your color palette that you can extend up or go darker just as long as you're still tonally the same. So you could have a color that like falls in between these two colors or whatever. That's still fine. Um, because there's millions of colors out here. And I think she said there were 65 on this color um, cart. This one has uh, 35 on it. So anyway, just keeping that in mind, as long as you're, you know, staying tonally, you can, you kind of know that you're still in the same general um, family and general realm. So I find it absolutely fascinating. And um, yeah, it kind of proves that for the systems that this, the color guru uses, versus the systems that Stephanie used, they all kind of go right in together and um, have a lot of crossover with those. So uh, yeah, there we have it. I am, it was a really fun experience and had a lot of fun getting to play around and um, see the things in person, like actually see the process happen because the um, previous times I've had it done, they've just sent me the results and I, I've been able to see, you know, why they picked this over this and that sort of thing. Um, but being able to, um, see it done in person, like how it all goes was actually really, really fascinating. So there you have it. I hope you have found this very informative as well. And if you don't have someone nearby you to do an in-person color consult and you are interested in a virtual one, I do have the, co the code Tomcat Color that'll get you 10% off any um, of the services that Color Guru offers. So, uh, which is all virtual. So there you go. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one, found it as interesting as I have. Uh, go get some sewing done, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!